Is that a video? Gotta lower the armrests to get in controller mode. You need that elbow clearance. Hey, what's up, everyone? Hello. Ooh, thanks for the resub, Saracen's Lament. Okay, today's the day, right? Today's gotta be the day. There's no way today's not the day. 43 attempts. I don't know at what point you you graduate out of being a good gamer into being a bad gamer. But hopefully, hopefully clearing in under 50 attempts is, is still championship status. Um, a good deal of my ego's riding on this. Uh, anyway, Sam, I think we best continue this discussion at some other time. Uh, hey, Macrophage. I'm mostly Lurk. Your streams are legit. Some of my favorite. Thanks for streaming. Well, thank you for lurking. Uh, thank Your you for de-lurking, just to... Conversations, Agrius. Just to say nice things. Is Cloud Save on Switch now? I'm not playing on Switch, so... Uh, no, let him stay if that's what he wants. What does it matter? He's technically allowed within these halls, but he must know he isn't welcome anymore. Ah, as long as you never give up, you're still a good gamer. Very well said. Vulcanator, thanks for the Prime sub. Ah, yeah, Fell Scion. Yep, uh, things being adult just because they can be. I don't know, to me it, um... To me it's a projection of insecurity when that shit happens like that. Uh, and, and I'm... I am hypersensitive to that. So in full context, I guess. Just so I'm not answering a cloud or, or people who are listening. So I, I, I did put up a review on Last of Us 2. I, I took a bit of an issue, not as much as some other aspects, but it did bug me how the game sort of seemed to, like... This is this is me reading a lot into it, and I, I understand that. But the game really did seem to vibe on itself for uh, for being brave enough to be saturated in adult content of violence and sex. And I'm just so, like... You can use those things, but using them just to prove you can is not a good reason to use them. And I got a lot of that vibe from Last of Us Part Two. They were doing it just to prove how adult they were. And I'm like, man, you don't have to prove anything to me. All you gotta do is justify my purchase, and unfortunately that didn't happen. Un Uncle Victorious, thank you for the Prime sub. YouTube link was the review. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also, I changed the command, so if you use the review command, it'll link to that video. If anyone wants to hear me complain about it. It was gratuitous rather than artistic or moving. Yeah. Uh, Sid Itty. Uh, I, that is exactly my, my take on it, is it felt gratuitous. But it wasn't even celebrating the gratuity. Which, uh, something like Robocop, you know? Or, uh, Crank, um... Anything from um, Zack Snyder, although I guess his DC work hasn't been so gratuitous, more pretentious, bizarrely. But there are there are times where gratuity can be fun. I think Kingsman le like leans way into gratuitous violence, uh, but it knows it's doing that, and it, it even has commentary on its own gratuity. Um, so I don't know. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me, Prince. I have to go. To me, it, it smacked of this this nonsense sentiment that games are still infant infantile. I guess on an actual time scale they are, but I just and and this is me maybe projecting my own my own annoyances. But not as comfy as it looks. Uh, boy, am I tired of of games and gamers and game creators pretending like they have something to prove. You know, uh, the games are not the underdog. Not not anymore. Jeez. I ran into Meg's sisters out there. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. Really headed off. Meg said they're not permitted in the house. Not that I'm complaining, but what's that about? They have not earned the right. To game stop before the epilogue, I would have liked it. Any desire I mean, here with the rest of us. in the last ten hours, I, I wanted it to stop at any moment role. and would have celebrated Disposition. any stop that happened, but well before the game actually did end. Megara, in my experience, I was kind of getting giddy at the thought that the game might actually be pretentious enough to just cut to black in the middle of something. You know? I was really hoping for that. <laughs> I was just like, just stop. Like, just just end and drop your mic on the floor and leave so I can go on with my business. Um, yeah, it, decided, it decided not to do that. Although fear is for the weak. Fear is for the weak. Fear is the mind killer. Those shades are always milling about. But, here's the thing. Uh, don't have to, don't have to... I mean, old father's nice to you, at least, isn't he? We don't have to dwell on that because there's a good game here, but also has a good, a good and interesting story. Pretty well written characters. Also, these characters are hot, big time hot. That's all that matters. What's your favorite weapon in the game? 
I lean so heavily. I like. I feel like Spear has been my most reliable, but that doesn't Darkness. necessarily mean it's my favorite. I might actually like how many button presses the gloves take. You gotta skate all around and tippity tap buttons. Oh, you get that stuff in movies? Yeah. Yep. Indie films can get very drippy of mind-blowing philosophical writing when the lead character is just a self chassel Oh yes, you're a hundred percent right. And I guess that's what that's what frustrates me sometimes. Is this? Last of Us Part Two had all the script of a, of a pretentious indie film, but it had the budget and technical execution of an amazing AAA game. Like, really, like, top-tier talent made that game, and I think that reads, but, man, the writing is just... Wow. Have we unlocked any of the aspects? No, I'm pretty sure you have to finish the game before you can do that. Just watch the um, with that, okay? I'm gonna try another, I'm gonna try another spear run. Little bro video gamer writers are trying to prove big bro movie writers that it's okay just by cursing with every word in middle school. Yeah, Quintonius, that was that was the case twenty years ago, I wanna say. Not not to not to like shoot down your analysis, because I think you're correct, but there was a lot of like, we're adult and gritty now. That kinda happened in the Y two K era, with a ton of games that were focused on violence and realistic military shit. Um <sighs> The closest swipe you actually had was, like, the story of Grand Theft Auto 3, which was not good. Uh, it was a fun game. The story was not not really anything. It wasn't about the story, though, so that that's okay. Um, but, yeah. I think we've moved out of the gritty uh, adult because I can say the F word games, and now we're moving on into stuff like The Last of Us 2. Where it's sort of, it's sort of self-reflective, but still misses the mark. Like, it's self-reflective without the humility. It's self-reflective, but still thinks that it can tell the audience something. Versus, versus, like I don't know. I, uh, I'm still, I'm still, really dwelling on it. <laughs> Schrodinger's Shep. Thank you for the, thank you for the prime sub. What's a Shep? Do you like Series M4? I do. I haven't finished it yet though. I wouldn't say that I've gotten to the where the game really takes off yet either. You still have a long and painful road ahead. I really um. I think I might get the special. Might get the special, because the knockaway might might be really useful. Hmm. Actually, it's cast. Actually, I probably don't want knockback for the special, because it's nice to, to trap enemies inside the... Oh, wait. I'm using the spear. Then, yeah, I'll use cast. But, yeah, I've got to... Uh... Still got to finish Sam 4. I'm excited to get back to it, but... There's just, like, too many top-of-mind games that I really, really, really am excited to play right now. I'm downloading Genshin Impact in the background. I'm excited to check that out. I really want to finish at least one run of Hades, because I'm excited to see what gameplay systems open up after I finish the game. Because uh, I'm told that, like, that's not... Like, like most roguelikes, that is not the end. Uh, but... And I wasn't expecting it to, but... I'm excited for the gameplay systems. I'm excited for the, the story aspects. I'm told that the story doesn't really stop when you clear the game. So, no spoilers. No spoilers, but... Uh, that's where my head's at right now. So it's like this, checking out Genshin Impact, and then Series Sam 4 is like kind of th third on my list, unfortunately. Even though I, I super love that series, but Hades has just taken me. Can be and oh. The most Said you heading out as you're done with work? Alright. Nice shift today. Nice shift today. Ooh. Ooh. Rewards hidden. Hmm. 48%. That's a lot. That's a lot of attack. How they ramp up difficulty after winning a run. I'm really excited for that. The the thing that gets that that can grade a little bit with roguelikes like this, ones that do have permanent progression, is that they can't really lock the stats to anything. So it's it's always a weird trade-off between like, and I guess this is the core of a roguelike, right? But what's the trade-off between my skill, the luck I get, and the amount of grinding I've done to give myself a fundamentally higher head start? You know. I'm just describing roguelikes right now, but that always makes the, the proposition of ramping up difficulty strange for me. As opposed to something like Doom, where the difficulty level is 100% fixed, with maybe some randomness about where the enemies go and what the AI chooses to do, but your guns always do the same damage, you get the same... Or you can choose from the same upgrades in the same order every time, it's just... You know for a fact your player skill is, is the different, differing factor. 
Are there choices in this game? Hmm. You can choose who to develop your relationships with by giving, like you get, you get gifts that you can offer to NPCs and that sort of changes the way the, the story evolves or I, I'm, I'm led to believe there is like companion systems and stuff, so in a Mass Effect sort of way, you can, you can put a target on somebody and be like, I'm gonna bone you. It's coming. A palm of power. It's coming and so shall I. Got some zest. Oh, thank you, Death Moon. Um, yeah, my day's been going good so far. I'm back on. Uh, I'm I'm pretty pretty intensely back on my diet, so nothing but uh, nothing but but vegetables and lean proteins today. But it, it, I do feel better when I eat well. I don't know. It's a weird mix, right? Like I feel like I do need to institutionalize eating garbage in some way because um, I do think I I just I, I like all humans need some kind of break. I need time to enjoy the comfort food, mates. Uh, I have, I've noticed that, yeah, I, I, if I'm stressed, then I don't really have many more outlets. I don't have many triggers I can pull to sort of make myself feel better about, about stuff immediately. Um, then, then just comfort food. So I need to either figure out a way to, to control the release of that, or, um... Really just, yeah, control its expression. Uh, what's up, Rubber? Thanks again for your content and takes on games and media. Ooh. Usually informative and honest. I appreciate that. Good luck with the 3,000 GPUs. Kind of want to just get a 2080 Ti for the right price. That might be the, a good default, depending on what the prices go down to. I don't know, though. NVIDIA doesn't... Like, the previous line doesn't really just drop like a rock, does it? Maybe you can pick up one used on eBay or something like that. Um, I... I'm, I'm hoping I. Evolved a new effect. I'm hoping I can find one eventually. Stone. But, yeah, wasn't gonna wasn't gonna make it through that without taking a hit. The gods have spoken. Again to lend to you my power, noble cousin. Yes. I mean, the reflect dash may have been better, but man, when I think about specking out for the Hades fight just to beat Hades, more dash. I think that's 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 what I settled on at the end of the last run. So there were I had multiple opportunities in my last run to pick up a uh, better to pick up uh, another dash, and I did not take it ever. So this time. Get another dash from our from our bud, our bud Perseus. Wait, it's not Perseus, is it? Hermes. There we go. Got reflect spin. I actually think I think just the physical attack is better in terms of reflection. Most people that like most times you get bombarded. There is one fight in hell, the lava land. I can't remember the name of it. Unfortunately, it starts with a B. There is one fight in there that spawns sometimes where you just get, it's like bullet hell. And then a, 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 like a spin is probably better at Asphodel. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was totally wrong. Um, but most of the times, like with bosses and stuff, if you just do this, the projectiles that would hit you get deflected back. So it feels more safe to me and then I don't have to wait for the charge or the uh, the recovery time on it. Coin. The recovery is usually what gets me. Is I'll do the spin and then more projectiles will fly in and nail me. Hmm. Let's see if I can upgrade my cast. Also, I think I'm really close to finishing. Yeah, Poseidon's Poseidon's uh, stage attack is pretty rough. Athena occasionally makes enemies invincible, which can be a real pain in the ass if you're in Elysium. I've had uh, I've had the little orb boys pop out of the uh, the dudes and then get shielded. So I'm just like, well, cool. Huh. I get to just watch this entire asshole regenerate. Neat. Very cool. Absolutely cool. One got through. Well, maybe a... Yeah, here we go. Perhaps. Perhaps a spin would have helped. Here, I'll try it. So like, I, I don't know. I reflected the same three three shots I would have reflected with a basic attack. 
But that was just in that one specific circumstance, so I couldn't write it off yet. Conflict What's up, Baraka? Hello. Is inevitable, Zagreus. All we can do is learn and grow from it. Deflection on the bow, yeah, Hobbs. That my first big run was pretty much deflection on the bow, and then I just used special attack, and it, it cleans up the entire arena. It's so good. Whoa. Huh. Appreciate the backup. I did notice too that like the what the now? the damage debuff from Aphrodite was actually pretty useful against Hades. I meant that I could took take like five or six hits instead of two to three. Oh, you just got your fifth clear. Uh. Yeah, this is my first run with with the three deaths unlocked. I had, I had, I just bought that at the end of my last run. Butterfly grows stronger. Bong. Please be money. Yes. How bad could it be? I'm rich. Get your hands off my trove. I think I just upgraded the trove too. What's up, Bates Island? Hello and welcome. Swiper, no swiping. No swipes here. Just solid gold. This music is so good! I don't, Doctor. I'm, I'm such a fan of the sound. I mean, Supergiant games have had Let's phenomenal music, but... Dude, the, the boss fights are some of the most I get the booty blasting music. Oh, shit, man. Ending dashes on a trap feels really bad. I don't like it. Oh, well. That's it. God! <laughs> They're, like, all tucked away! I'm looking at so many other things. Is there anything that affects the drop rate of gold from enemies? I'm gonna kill a red. You gonna head out? Alright, thanks for dropping by. Do, have you ever had to factory reset one of your consoles or PCs? Uh, PC, yeah, I've had to do system restore on PCs before. Uh, some titillating but less than savory flash games may have come along with some unwanted guests. So, you know, after you finish playing Super Deep Throat, you're like, well, okay. So my computer's acting weird now, I better roll it back. Little top tip for you guys: If you're ever down, if you're ever, if your horniness is getting in you into some bad places, just do system restore. Do system restore before you slide on down that that slide, and and you have a you have a nice little uh, safety rope tied around you. Chaos can increase gold. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, not the like the drop amounts, but the drop rate is, I guess, what I'm curious about. Yeah, there's more gold per chamber. Like I've seen, I've seen items that increase the the rate of like health drops and health pickups and stuff. It's not really a big deal. I don't think that would make or break a run or anything. I'm just, just curious. What boons you got? You're sliding them early on. Well, it's it's easier to do that early on. I got a I got a damage buff from chaos, and I have a pretty good cast right now. Keep up the momentum. Yeah, we'll see. but I guess to each her own. We'll see. The dead better hide. Are the game side hustles like 650 plus free gold, which is real neat? Yeah, side hustle is. Which which god is side hustle? That's oh, Hermes, one. I think. Ooh. All right. Let's grant me strength. I 
Unfortunately, I don't think bosses get knocked back, but... Okay. Yeah, I feel like... Please be Meg. I'm starting to... I'm starting to figure out that, like... No. Again, it's all probability-based, but... Well, Zag? Angling on Hermes early might be a really good idea. Before I send you home. Let's see. How about a swift and painful death? Would that be possible? I guess if you're also trying to buy progression items... In, uh, in like. sticks. You get exactly what you asked, right, and nothing cut. more. Oh, come on, Who knew traps were gonna be the thing? Let's see you handle this. Okay. Yes. Why is everyone so hot? I mean, yeah, <laughs> it, it makes sense, doesn't it? Greek gods are supposed to be hot as hell. All right, let's see if let's see if my wholesale slaughter of all these dudes are this can keep up. Yeah, Rando, the traps are so well placed; it's infuriating sometimes. For me, it's I'm just trying to stack the damage buff on the uh, the pierced butterfly. If you uh, if you clear a fight without taking any damage, or you clear an encounter, excuse me, uh, you get a two percent damage buff for each time you do it. So if you can get through the first couple of areas, clearing rooms and stacking that buff, you can get, have like thirty percent damage by the end. Which, like, that's a lot. And I, with, yeah, see, I'm already, like, not one-shotting anymore. Roguelikes. Hey, hey, it's a roguelike. Good place to be. What's the, um, who has the buff that increases the potency of all pomegranates? Is that Dionysus? Can't remember who's got that one. That might also be a really good one to target early on. Early, early on. Oh, why it's called roguelike and roguelite? It's just the degree, the degree of rogue mechanics. Um, I don't know exactly what, yeah, literally what the distinction is. I don't know if they ever drilled it down to mathematical levels. Damn it, I took damage. Light just means it has some permanent progression. Oh, so this would be a rogue light then. Yeah, because I guess true rogues, you you start at the same position every time. The only thing that accrues is your skill and knowledge about Welcome the game. Back. You're just in time, your royal majesty. Got something real good cooking right here that you're gonna love. You hungry? Yeah? Am I ever? You're always so generous. And you're always cooking. 
and singing. Do you have many guests come by? Your place seems somewhat off the beaten path. What, you think I get a lot of guests here? <laughs> no, but I like cooking anyway. It's like singing in a way. Keep getting better the more you try. Turns out a bit different each time. Hmm. All right, let's see. For you. Am I gonna get lucky? A little bit. Mm, cheers. I was kind of hoping for the reduced damage one. That one's not so bad. I was hoping for this one to go legendary or whatever, but that's all right. Bye now. Bruce talked to you tonight. Hey, congratulations. Break it up, witches. Okay, this this is the bullet help. Ah, goddamn. Slidey ass. Slidey ass uh, dash. God, please. I don't know. Auto aim is nice most of the time. In rooms like this, it, it messes you up pretty bad. God. I mean, I guess, I guess it didn't take that much damage, really. He was quite instrumental in the war of my design. Still, he resisted my attempts to sway his actions. You tell him simply I admire him. Aww. Maybe I'll just stack damage mitigation. Her special might be worth it, but... I'll try and take, like... Maybe I should just, like, stack health pool and damage reduction. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. I have not played NetHack. That's the card game, right? Oh, that, wait, is that Netrunner? I can't remember. Do not mess with me right now. Oh, come on, man! I did not want to dash that way! Uh, I wanted to dash back. Som sometimes, like, I, I don't know what the inputs were, so... Sometimes it feels like Zagreus does some shit, and I'm like, well, I didn't want you to do that. And I don't think I was I was hitting those buttons, but man, maybe I was. Maybe I was. I I'm, uh, I'm using a controller, just FYI. For those asking... What aspects fear? I haven't cleared the game yet, so I do not have aspects. Oh, you don't need clear to get aspects? Oh, okay. Well, then I don't have aspects. And I don't know how to get them. <laughs> it's now a two-part problem. I'm not... Don't don't tell me, by the way. That's something that I will hopefully figure out as, as time progresses. I like this one a lot, but I feel like Dash Strike is actually probably way better um, for, for killing bosses. Really what I'm stuck stuck on right now. Beating the shit out of Hades. I'm guessing you have something to spend jewels on. Oh, there's like... Yeah, that's right. There's customization. Aesthetics. Cheers. Three times dash strike is straight OP. It's insane. Hell yeah, it's awesome. It seems like most things. Oh, I got, I got a. Oh, I got some booze out of that. It seems like most things that amp up your attack rate are the things that can crack the game open, because because of like applying debuffs per hit. So then if you can just start like triple tapping people so fast. So much money, Hermes though. Arr. 
Hermes. Shit. But upgrades are cheaper now. But Hermes. But upgrades. Yeah. I have a lot of money though. Yeah, you're right. I'll go for it. I need to dump some money. I'm stacking up too much. Hopefully there will be a... Uh, nope. I guess this is the last room before boss, so... This is it. Did I always manage to locate you already, boss? She's pretty good at that, I have to say. I'm faster, but she's fast. She's pretty fast, all right. <laughs> oh, no dash. Neat. Hmm... And well, we them's the brakes. <laughs> Just came over from the Last of Us 2 review. Puzzling surprise some of the eloquent responses to some of your tales. I feel like we're just yeah. through to one another. No, the, the comments are, are shockingly respectful. I really do think that, like, you set tone, or rather the, the broadcaster sets tone. So, like, things that, like, gamer negativity, I honestly put at the feet of of games media types that, that thrive on that negativity. They act and speak in certain ways and it just instructs the audience to do the same thing. And a lot of the times that tone is really shitty. Um, and they sort of invite people to be extremely disrespectful of game creators in the ways that they are. Which I was, I'm never down with. So I really do think like, the problem is I think uh, unless you are really vicious <laughs> there's a certain cap to audience that you'll you, like you just won't get certain people because they're not attracted to to temperance at all some people like a, a really charged fight they they equate extremity of uh, of opinion with passion i guess which is a reasonable mistake to make i guess or rather i think maybe they equate negativity with uh e experience Negativity equals uh, clout, or equals uh, what's the word? Like having refined tastes, or with the uh, worst of all, with honesty. Boy, what a what a grift that is! I found the 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 when people equate being negative on something with being honest about it, those are usually the the absolute worst kinds of reviewers or I guess talking heads. Really, what it is at its core. Should, ooh, got a critical on that one. Yeah, some gamers are edgy like that. Yep. People in games media play fast and loose with hyperbole. It's true, but I, I also understand it from an individual's perspective. If you super want to break into games media, I understand the catch-22 of like, no one's going to pay attention to you if you're just saying something calm and reasoned. Or, I think more, the rate of growth doing that, it's sustainable and healthy, but way slower than putting out a really charged opinion to get some eyeballs on you when people are mad about stuff. Hey, what's up, Kala? Welcome. King Theseus. Hopefully you're having a good day. Which to choose? Oh, we know which one. We know what we're choosing. No, I don't want to... Oh, whatever. I'm keeping my money. One more floor. Have you seen Gen Genshin Impact? Yeah, I'm downloading it right now. I will, uh... I'll check that out after I hopefully beat Hades. What's the quote about brutal honesty being more brutal than honesty? I so green. I mean, I think... You got close enough to it. I, t I, uh, I understand what you're going for. Ooh. More hammer. More hammer. Sold some shoes? Hell yeah. Trying to get rid of stuff you don't need? That's always a good feeling. A little cathartic. Bittersweet. Select. <clears throat> is Genshin Impact a gotcha? I, I mean, I presume it has some gotcha elements. Like, gotcha is the Asian version of Loot Crate. 
Um, so, games can have loot crates and it doesn't define everything about them, but it, yeah. <clears throat> Cast is gonna be a liability later on. Why is that? I just won't use it. Do you mean in terms of like pushing enemies away? Butterfly ball. Nice. Do they ever patch out the invasive anti-cheat detection invasive? Yeah, I was it's funny because I was I was looking at Genshin Impact and I'm like, oh, it's from Asia. I'm surprised there hasn't been some silly toss-up about about uh anti-cheat software yet. And then like the I saw on Reddit. Yep, it's happening. Okay. Somebody saw a process they didn't like. They made a Reddit thread. Man, you want to talk about, like, people people scrambling for cloud by by inflating. It's it's on. Uh, it's an online game. Uh, if you want to play with cheaters, then that's something. But, like, what else are you supposed to do? <laughs> Doom had the same problem, but I don't know. Probably not, I guess, is the answer. But I like that... <laughs> Couldn't just call it anti-cheat. It's invasive anti-cheat. Can I positively moved? Ah. Uh, okay, that one's, that one's all right. Yeah, I'm like Valorant. Valorant's an online competitive game. Counter-Strike is horrible with cheating. Grand Theft Auto Online, horrible with cheating. Oh, life affirmation boost, max HP boost. Oops. Well, too late. I didn't know. I thought it was just life pickups. I I need to figure out how to separate uh, or exactly what the difference of, uh, of verbiage is. Damn it. Between uh, just health pickups and max life increases. I think it's, it's like a heart or a heart with a little green arrow next to it. Kill you, the heart with the arrow. Okay. To pray, so. I will. Uh, I'll try to. I'll try to. Um... My sense is shopping. Keep an eye out for that. If you hover over the boon, it'll tell you on the boxes to the right. Okay. Yeah. I just need to read more. I think. One. This is nice too because you go into the boss fight and he's got a little damage on him already. You have come to look forward to it, even if I end up falling to your strength. Oh, I was going to say I'd much prefer we settle this more amicably, couldn't we? Perhaps I could interest you in a fine bottle of nectar, Ambrosia. No, thank you. These battles are enough. Besides, you won that Ambrosia from us, fair and square. <laughs> Shit. Shit, man. I can, like every hit from this guy. Oh. 
that I've ever seen that one before. What are the red crystals damage modifiers? No, that's that's a different mechanic. So you you have three attacks basically, four actions. You have a dash, basic attack, a special attack, and what's called a cast. It's more like a magic spell. Um, casts operate on. You see, there's like a three out of three red crystals next to my life bar. Um, you only have three. I have three now. That number can change, but you have three uses of your cast. Um, if you hit an enemy with it, the red crystal sticks in them for a limited amount of time. It pops out if you kill them, um, or it pops out after a certain amount of time. You can also get upgrades that change that amount of time. Um, so the idea is, I think, to just keep you from spamming that ability because it gets pretty overpowered. I still have not gone to a goddamn merchant. Damn, dude! Here we go. Alright. More dashes. What? Sip the water. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, I'll have plenty once I get to, to sticks, I guess. I'm getting better. I'm getting more confident about my ability to survive, to survive that boss fight. Weapons you have unlocked. Uh, I have six weapons. Okay. Yeah. Increases your life. Yep, you're right. All right. Uh... It would be nice to have a special attack, but I don't really need it right now. Careful with the spear throws. They wreck you if you're not paying attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, very, very so careful of those this. lately. More money. More. Damn it! Fuck your, fuck your shield. Oh! Jeez. Blood and yeah. darkness. Even more money. I've got so much cash. She is, father. Good lord! I've never had this much money in this game. Never ever. Have you watching the boys? No, Johnny Ma. I watched the first couple of episodes and I couldn't stand that show, so I stopped and I'm kind of done with TV shows that like take off slow or make me wait for it or like I'm not going to watch something for 12 hours because it might get good later. Although everyone says that season two is good, but then again people said season one was good and I, I just couldn't, couldn't stand it. Couldn't stand it myself. Too, too edgy, too try hard. Lady Artemis. Olympus. But I'm sensitive for that sort of thing. Uh. Oh! Holy shit. Wow. 50% double damage on a triple hit dash strike. If you watch devs, I started it. Uh... Uh, I'd, I'd be willing to watch more of it, but that show was almost a little too Alex Garland for me. Like, I don't know, I felt like Devs... Devs and the Boys are both very pretentious shows in their own special little ways. And I guess, I don't know. Kind of just... Eh, I should I should put more time into it, but... Yeah, it's really slow. It's so slow. Blue Fuzzy Chick, thanks for gifting a sub. The boys is a weird show because it has to start off slow because in the future season the violence will ramp up very quickly. That doesn't mean they have to start slow. That doesn't mean that. Why why bore somebody just so you can pay it off later? Just pay it off now. I'm like I've always I'm always so confused by that. Shows that pretend like there aren't three million other shows that I could be watching and would probably choose to watch at any moment. Also, I think what what really like to me the boys was the boys, the boys' character setup was pretty flawed from the start, for me anyway, because they like this. This is my like amateur analysis. The first couple of episodes, so they want they want you to be empathetic with a couple of characters, um, 
they they obviously want you to hate the heroes and they they want you to root for the dude whose boyfriend or girlfriend he lost his girlfriend right all oh, the worst thing um they want to root for they want you to root for him so that he cut yeah everyone's also super smug all the time blue fuzzy chick that show is like cast cast with and written by smug comic book assholes is what that that feels like to me but okay so they want you to root for the the wormy dude whose defining character trait is that he can't commit to taking revenge um uh which is annoying because it happens every episode it's it's my hero academia except deku actually does eventually figure out his motivation and put that stuff behind but every episode he's like i don't know if i can do it and then carl urban's like hey i'm british and have a mysterious background isn't that comedy and then they he convinces him to do something bad um and then by the end of it he supposedly takes an action that shows that he's committed to this path now but in the next episode it's back to oh i don't know if i can do this and then you have the uh you have the like I can't Starfire or whatever, who's meant to be like the pure hero, the the voice of morality or whatever, um, that is getting it for the right reasons and slowly, like slowly, slowly trading away her vir her virtue, both literal and metaphorical, to pursue her dream. You know, it's 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 essentially like small small town girl from Iowa gets off the bus in LA to be a movie star and is taken advantage of by the system. Except that very early on, very early on, she betrays right away that she's actually not in it for the heroism. So why do you care about her or her story? And and when they try to link her with the wormy dude who lost his girlfriend, it's like a very neat pairing of like, here's the moral here's the moral voice of that side of the narrative that's slowly losing her way, and the moral the moral voice of our side of the narrative that's slowly gaining his way, and they can meet in the middle. Except that both characters are already flawed from the start, and I don't care about either of them because Starfire already demonstrated that she's willing to trade away her morals just to be popular. And Wormy Dude is merely there just so you have an arc over the course of every episode uh, to, to pay off to the audience. And it was just going to continue that way forever. So it's like, well, you already gave away the game. Um, and I have no reason to keep watching is, is where it landed. Like four, four episodes in, I was like, I hate all these characters. I don't care what happens. I want them all to die. Like, I don't care if it continues like that because the show already failed. Like, <laughs> Again, I have 18 million other shows to watch, so, so, sorry, sorry, you don't get to waste time. You don't get to write garbage episodes and expect me to sit through that and then continue on. It's not how this works, so. Whoopsie. Ooh, okay, finally gonna drop some money. You don't have to like it? I don't. <laughs> people, people asked. That's my favorite, is when somebody asks, and then you say it, and they're like, well, pff, you don't have to like it. I'm like, I know I don't. That's... That, yeah. <laughs> Pe people are entitled to enjoy it? Sure. People can, people can do whatever they want with their time. I'm not telling anyone they can't do that either. He show pushes a heavy criticism into neoliberal agenda and corporate pseudo-morality. Uh, yeah, that's... Boy, of all shows that I absolutely don't want to lecture me about that shit, The Boys is the chief one. Because it... Uh, the Boys is, and I know the comics are more like this, but The Boys is that, like, watched a few YouTube videos and can't shut up about ethical consumption dude who, who won't be quiet in your, like, freshman orientation at college. Um, Just what I need. It's, it's like being trapped in a room with that guy. And he won't talk about anything else. Yeah, I gotta focus on this boss fight though, for so, sure. The monster has returned. It just seems weird to make assumptions with authority when you haven't seen it enough, though. I am merely relating to you the four hours that I spent with the show. And uh, that's not weird at all, actually. I'm allowed to judge what I watched, and I'm allowed to uh, let that be an indicator of what the rest of the show will be. And uh, I don't care uh, if it gets better. I also don't really trust people when they say it gets better because they said the first of the first of the show was good too. So, womp womp. They couldn't care less about your title, though. Shouldn't you share it with a Minotaur? He's more than half the reason you've been in any trouble. You're Man, I just got done playing through Last of Us Part Two. Us I am done. <laughs> I am done pushing back, pushing past my gut. From the strongest bronze, nay, adamant. You have caused us both offense. So die.
music, though. This music is the realness. to not dodge away from attacks that track you too. That's something that got me a lot with with the Hades. God. It's it's so visually deceptive because he traces the outline of the, his range and then he tracks you. Do your goddamn thing. Ah. Crap, I don't want to. I guess I have plenty of. I have plenty of. Uh, money, so. Dropping a stock here wouldn't be the absolute worst, but it would be uncomfortable. Damn it! God! The fucking isometric view makes it so challenging to tell whether or not you're gonna be line of sight with somebody or not. It's weird that they made it such an operative mechanic about this fight. Wait. Yeah, that's assuming you get the option to buy another. Yep, you're right. You were right. Sure. I was really, really hoping. Oh yeah, I gotta remember to. Until next time, good shade. Yay! Oh, so happy. Oh, uh, Folgers Coffee. Um, I wasn't super pleased with Last of Us Part Two. I just, um, I just posted a. Uh, uh, video about it. Hey! Mazeltov, alright. I mean, I've got so much money, might as well. That was Elysium. Sure was. <laughs> My companion's been unlocked. Nope. Uh, I, I don't have, like... People are referencing all these all these like gameplay things that are just not unlocked for me yet. I think I'm quite a bit earlier than than most people assume. Yeah, Folgers, I don't know. I had I had issues. <laughs> you finished near? No, actually, no, I have not. Um, to my to my shame. Why not? Oh. Sharpen my senses. Good enough to eat. Hmm. Got a pretty low, pretty low life pool. Fuck it, I'll just feeling good. Where to? Money pots. I need it. Yeah, near is near's pretty ghost in the shelly. It's a pretty accurate comparison, I think. 
Cast is so nice. Yeah, the cast is so strong. It's the multiple pushbacks, and then also I have damage on collisions with walls. So it's just like it's just pinball in small arenas. It's great. Look at him! Look at him flying around. And then when they die, they drop my cast. So it makes it very easy to clear rooms, ideally without taking damage. So I get even more damage buffs. One of these days I'll like develop the mental acuity to actually track and use traps to my advantage, but <sighs> hmm. Might as well take the special buff. Fury. I've got some I got some additional buffs on pushback, so that might help. Yeah, the traps are pretty effective, aren't they? A moment's rest. Sometimes anno annoyingly so it's like, ah how, how are these taking a dent out of me like this? Sir Abby, thank you for the sub. Oh my. Oh my indeed. Oh my. Bitters, thanks for the sub. Good, 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 good. <laughs> the rats got fucked. That is the definition of getting fucked. What happened to those rats? There it Ooh. is already. There indeed it is already. In the name of hate. Can you leave? Can you leave the fountain and come back later to drink from it after you clear more rooms? No, no, no tips, uh, Swami. If you can avoid it. No, you cannot. Okay, so you you have to get it now, or you or you lose it. Oh, okay. Berg. <laughs> Yum. Them's the brakes. Uh, uh, okay. Is the game good? Yes, it's very good. Hi! It's very good at being what it is. If you don't like, uh, action roguelikes, I mean, it's probably not gonna work for you, but... It's an exceptional version of that kind of game. Hit him with a weapon of some sort. Now those are some big tips. Those are some tips I can get by. What do you like most? I mean, right now I think Spear is... Right now, my mind is just mostly focused on, like, what is what is going to be the most expedient weapon for me to just get a clear? That's kind of my goal at the moment. Just finish the game. And I think Spear might be my best shot, but... You! 
Ah! My god. What? Why did it miss? I'm taking. I am taking some damage. I bet Charon's going to want all this. Ah, shit. Man, coming across heels and sticks is so rough. Is your favorite or just the one you have the best luck with? Best luck, for sure. That is that is absolutely the case. Want something to eat, boy? Huh? I can get another Hermes upgrade if I just... Uh, I'm gonna press my luck here. This one, I guess. Your stats reset in between runs? Some of them do. You have three depth defiances? Yeah! We'll see. I mean, that, that does make my, my individual life bar being low right now less of a thing. Um, but yeah. We'll see. Damn it. No health. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. I'll take it. Before I could even dodge. God damn it. Uh I feel stronger. Well, you know, this is a significant amount of health, but should I go fight some Satan to get out of here? Special. I'm gonna hit him with a special long range and try to keep him at long range as long as I can. Um, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. Maybe this way. I'm gonna do it. I got that. I got that big Bafo special now. It's fine. <laughs> See? Look at how fine this is. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I might, get, I might even get a merchant that sells some health, you know? Everything's looking up. God, the sh Just bullying these rats, man. Shoving them all around. Got that plus two damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah. Get more of that dash strike, baby. All right. That was pretty successful. Still have 100 gold or 150 gold that I'd like to spend on health, but. Ooh, and I can fish. It's just wins all around, huh? Oh! Why do I keep forgetting? It's not the first bobble. Damn. All right. Uh, quick break. I'm gonna empty my bladder and then go beat the shit out of Hades. Hell yeah. All right. PP break concluded. Let's go give the dog a snack. Cerberus decides to look the other way this once. Fight for now, boy. Again. Okay. Let me collect my thoughts here. Look at all these buffs. Is this actually maxed out? If you if you picked up more passives, would it squeeze some of these out? Hmm. 
I have not beaten Hades yet, no. Hmm. I don't think I'll ever get accustomed to the breeze. My brothers and my sisters and myself, we too wanted to slay our parents. The Titans. Bastards. And worse. And you succeeded. Chopped up some of them into many tiny bits and sprinkled them throughout the pits of Tartarus so they can't regenerate. Or so I hear. Inspiring, really. Call for Black Up. Thanks for the prime. We had no recourse at the time save to collaborate. Developed a specific plan and saw it through. And the Titans. You think me cruel, yet know nothing of cruelty. But here, you want something to hate. Then have it. Prepare. This is doing good damage to him. Oh, those do actually stop you. What? Oh, I guess he was in the middle of attack frames while getting pushed around? That one's regenerating. Don't miss. Ah. Ah. Shit! Oh yeah. Hey. Come on, seriously? I guess it detonated right right as I killed it? God damn. You strike at your own father. What choice does that leave me? You asked for this. What? Oh, so that one has unlimited range. All the other ones don't. Same attack, same same tell. It goes the whole stage though. Alright. I'm 
Batman is going. What? What? God damn it! It's fucking isom. It's fucking isometric, man. Yeah. Fuck, dude! So, like, they're doing the thing where he draws out his attack line and then he moves forward before he does the attack. So, like, the that line is just an absolute red herring? Shit! <sighs> I'm, getting, I'm getting amped right now. Great. Like, what was I supposed to do? Oh, this is it. Jesus Christ. Does he have a third life? Oh. You. Go. Go then. He's gonna stand up again. Go. Get out of here. Get out. He's gonna stand up again. And then he's just gonna, he's gonna like punch me. And I'm going to. Goodbye. Wait. Wait, just. If you. If you find her. If you somehow find her, tell her something for me. Tell her. Tell her Cerberus is doing very well. Oh, thank you, Frosty. What? Wait, I don't think I owe you any favors here. <laughs> Send me one question and I'll give it some thought. How's that? Uh, Clef and Stark, thank you for the sub. I know your question, boy. But ask it anyway. Persephone. My mother. Why did she leave? Damn, well. That explains why Zagreus is so hot, right? Lord and darkness. There is no escape. Goodbye, father. Ooh. Oh, okay, cool. The first of many. Only 40 hours. Not a big deal. Or 40 minutes, my bad, for the run. I thought I was telling you the total run time. New record. God, it counts your streak. Fuck. Fuck. Where are the little flamey skulls? What's that all about? Oh. Haratha shuddered just now. I also don't... Wait. Oh, okay. I haven't figured out the, um... I haven't figured out the use for the, the spiky blood yet, either. There's a lot of resources that seem to, like, I used them one time and then the game was like, okay, we're gonna give them to you still, but I guess you can always trade them for stuff. How many runs was that? I think 44, 45, somewhere in there. I made it. Oh, that's, a, that's the Pact of Punishment, you can add difficult to Ooh, cool. Await the first glimpse of the sun to your left and onward through the cold. Sure hope this works, Nix. Good old narrative walking sequences. Four star P walk means that you, your game is art. That is what that means. Sugar codex for hearts on people, try maxing out Meg. Well, I mean, I'm, I would not, I would like to max out everybody, but, oh, thank you, Mcarp. The surface, windswept, racked by freezing cold. Nonetheless, it instills within the prince a sense of awe and the sublime, for it is unlike anything that he has seen. Who's the narrator? It's beautiful. I mean, like, super giant games have had unattributed narrators in the past. Actually, wait, Bastion's narrator was eventually a character, uh. or defined, right? Actually, not sure. Can't remember now. I think Hades might be better. Hades might be better than Bastion. Oh, that thing. That's the sun. God. Oh, this artwork is so good. Uh, 
I like the little, like, pops of color in the outlines, too. Uh, a lot of a lot of games like this, like hand-drawn games, have very thick strokes around everything to give it that sort of inky look. But yeah, this game has, like, and that, like, black stroke, there's just pops of green and purple and blue. Uh, you see a lot of that in the UI, actually. A lot of the borders are very cool accent. I have a lot of cool accent colors and stuff. Man. Ugh. This game's too good. I've seen people talk about it like it's Game of the Year potential. I can see it in the running. Yeah. I would still be hard-pressed between this and Doom Eternal. You can't. But, you know, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk's happening. Oh. Oh. It's so pretty. Oh. Who's there? Um, hello? Hello, indeed. Pray, who might you be wandering all the way out here? You're trespassing on private property, you know. She what, the goddess of harvest? I'm trying to remember that one. I thought I thought Athena was like war and harvest, but um, you must be Oh, never mind, Persephone. Persephone. My name is Zagreus, and I think I might be your son. Oh, spring. Okay, yeah. Uh Katniss, thank you for the sub. Mushanka, thank you for the sub. Athena's war and wisdom. Alright, my bad. What? How dare Get out of here. Get out or I shall make you. Out with you. This is not going like it was expected to. No. So then you are her. I, I don't care if you hate me, but I'm not leaving until I get some answers. I never even oh boy. Existed. Is Persephone the actual Why final boss? Me? You died. You you died. Those burning feet, they sputtered out when you were born. But now you're standing here before me. How? Oh, Demeter is the harvest? Or Demeter is the harvest and her daughter is Persephone, who is the goddess of flowers. Oh, okay. Got it. I died? I died? What, you mean permanently died? But I'm alive. Oh, God. You never even knew I existed either. Alive? Sagrius, he... even kept your name. You live? How can this be? You live? You live? Oh, the cruel fates! My son! Mother. I will admit, I am way more bought into the narrative and story Short, of this game. Finally, I mean, granted, it is. It's a story that's been told before. But... Like this. but there's something he wanted me to tell you in the end. He said to tell you Cerberus is doing very well. Ah, uh, he told you that, did he? That's good. That's good. Though, tell me something, Zagreus. How is it that you found me? To have journeyed all this way, I scarce believe it. Zagreus? Greek lore is cool, and they really made the characters seem so unique. Yeah. The art and the voice acting just make these characters so incredible. And really the fact that they're biting off, like, the most absurd, intertwined, melodramatic backstory. It means that you have a whole cast of characters that have interconnected relationships, and you can kind of reference all that stuff through drip-feeding dialogue, which is what the game does. It's such a good fit. So much about this game is, like, this is the, this is the right fit. Source materials unlock, like the art styles unlock. Everything just fits. It's so good. Uh, oh, it's... Guess I'm just a little tired, that's all. Uh-oh. Not accustomed to the weather, as I think you call it. Nobody escapes. There might no. be a reason why. No, that Rain Dog, thanks for the prime. It's that... You cannot stay here. Really, you're... <laughs> kicking me out? Why? The fates are cruel, Zagreus. You're bound to that place. Same as your father. So they would have a sacred So, play. yeah, every time you beat the game, you get a little more dialogue with your mom? Soars knowing you live. That's such a smart, that smart setup. And also, given that the rest of the game is sort of training you to get, like, a three-line exchange every time you interact with somebody, and that the lore is the reward for the repetition. God. I Fuck. Can back. I can come back. Sometimes I wish I could be in the room 
Maybe when like let me come also back. what a how how tragically Greek is that? Just to the setup of the game is that you have to do this entirely horrible journey just to spend a moment with uh, with your mother, and then it's do it all again. Um, like the end of Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, yeah, that is that is another thing that it's like. I mean, even that was borrowing from old, from old like, uh, you know, sailor folklore and shit like that. Um, but yeah, man, I I really wish I could could have been in the room when like the people at Supergiant were talking about the game structure and how to make it fit not only uh, the lore that they had to work with, but also like make it thematically fit. Somebody threw out that idea, and then they're like, "Oh!" and they slammed on the table and circled it eight times on a dry erase board. Over that matter, Nix never sent notice that you lived. Olympus is all rife with schemers, but I was so naive to think that they were different. Oh, no! Clips got an episode coming. Nice. I'll tell him. Hopefully, I'll tell him. Hopefully, they dive I into that. Feel awful. I, I have to go. <laughs> the sticks shall take you then. Oh, Zagreus. Farewell, my God, this son. music is so pastoral, and to me. but there's like little hints of, of evil, sadness please. woven into it. Come back. I shall be waiting here. However long it takes. I like MC's voice actor. I mean, someone said that that's the composer. However long it takes. Darren Korb. <gasps> Can't hold... On. Uh, mother, I have to get back there. Ooh. Hey, asshole. Finally returned. You are late, boy. Have you any idea what time it is? Damn it, I kind of hoped. <laughs> I kind of hoped the tenor of their relationship would shift a bit. <laughs> no. Wait, what? I vanquished you in single combat and finally found Mother, and that's all you have to say to me. That's so good. The moments, like, there's so much about video game writing that you just roll with because it's like, okay, it has to be video game, video games. So, like, to beat the game, come back to an NPC and have them talk to you in exactly the same way, you as the player are like, well, okay, it's video games. But then there's a line that actually acknowledges how weird that is. Um, this game does a lot of that, of, of being a video game and then actually acknowledging it and working it back into itself. <laughs> Nonsense. Don't you think I would recall such an event? Hmm. You can't be serious. You're going to pretend as though it never happened. She wants answers, same as I do. She demands you let me pass. Let me go to her again. Silence. This discussion is over. I hardly think this is the time or place to indulge your overwrought imagination. I know where we can continue this discussion then. Nice. Hades in straight denial. I don't know. Maybe there's some some time warp shit going on. I guess I would I would speculate that no use. going back down the river sticks oh, might reason, lad. I wipe your uh, your memory or something. My mother, but she's alive and well, and uh, but I just couldn't stay up there for very long. I have to get back to her. Beat it a few more times and things change a bit. Okay. You really made it all the way. I think I'm into the idea. It's uh, no use. Oh, that's yeah. amazing, lad. <laughs> but wait, what was she like? What happened to you there? She was... She She's was trying great. to save face? That makes Nothing sense. Nothing like father. Especially mother. in front of everyone? You a little yeah. bit, I guess. Though being on the surface, it just seemed to suck the life right out of me. Oh, that's true. Even without the wretches of the underworld trying to do me in. Well... But then you had a little time, at least. Yeah. Sounds like you have unfinished business with her there. You got to her this once. Surely you're able to again, isn't that right? Well, there, uh, uh, from what you're saying, there might be a conspiracy thing, and Hades is hiding it too. Yeah, it I is. do. I have to speak with her. Oh, time to get my boy drunk. For me, I can't accept something like this, lad. You know that. Come on, Achilles, live a little, uh, such as you're able. I won't tell if you won't tell. Can't remember what I'm up to. Three, yeah. Do 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 do. Prices are a little steep there, I must say. Got to get more diamonds, which means I got to start using different weapons. I must confess something to you, my friend. My mind still wanders to Eurydice quite often, and my memories of her, despite my best attempts to move along with my existence here. 
I would call it a fatal flaw, except I am already dead. If you heard Greek, if you heard Greek mythology, Achilles is a bit of a dick. Well, he was like super up on himself. I mean, he was an invincible warrior, so got a little cocky. Don't torture yourself, mate. You've been through enough. As is she. You still care for one another, just don't have a way to get the point across. But I have an idea. I too once had ideas, Zagreus. Ideas and inspirations. We don't think Orpheus is a woman. It's so very wonderful to have a muse. Pretty sure Orpheus is still male. It's just the art. I know. I mean, he's a he's an artist. I to me, he kind of looks like, like I see I see shades of Robert Smith, <laughs> in this design. Not like not like Funhouse or modern day Robert Smith, but like peak peak the cure Robert Smith. He's got that poof of hair. He's got the black eyeliner, and and also like, I think uh, I mean he's a he's a musician and he's very emo. So to me, that all kind of clicks together. What I see is like eighties eighties and nineties emo goth rock. <laughs> Out of him. They explicitly call Orpheus male, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, again, it's Greek, so whatever. <laughs> Anything goes, man. Your Anything goes. To you as once his father fell to him. Although you were substantially more merciful. I mean, she knew it happened. It's a bitter victory at best. Though, tell but me, maybe we shouldn't be trusting Nyx. Maybe not. That you have returned. Did you locate your birth mother? I did. I, she was there. She was where you said she'd be, and more than I imagined, but I had so little time with her. I can't survive up there for very long. Why didn't you tell me I'd just die no matter what? The artwork is so good. Oh, my child. I say this seldomly, but I did not know. Hmm. I did not wish to believe that the service would have such an effect on you. But it seems you share your father's fate after all my father's fate but he is smugly waiting for me every single time i make it there and seems quite healthy by then all in all though maybe the farther we get from this realm the worse we get because he cast his lot inheriting the underworld so i now presume you are bound to this realm by powers greater even than mine tell me something if you knew that you could only see persephone for but a moment's time would you still make the journey to her there Yes. Yes, I would. I had so many questions left for her. Then go and ask her, Yeah, then go. Child. Play the game again. Steady your resolve and find her there again. And use well what brief time you have with one another whilst you can. As mortals do. As mortals do. Zagreus, please tell me that the rumors are untrue. You really vanquished him. Have you completely lost your mind? You're going to destroy this blasted house. Come on, Meg. Father had it coming for some time. What's your concern besides? The house is safe. He's not going to take this lying down. He'll find some way to take it out on you, on all of us. You watch yourself or all of us will pay. I will not let that happen. <laughs> um, Miss Dusa, I ran into hostile gorgons that resembled you out there in Asphodel. Resembled only in the vaguest sense, I mean. They lacked your charm or social graces anyway. I just hope you are not related, since I sort of, you know. Oh, <laughs> those old things? They're relatives just in the loosest sense. Like, say you had some nasty, almost mindless siblings born entirely from your own blood, something like that. Do you have any idea how hard it was to get a steady job because of them? So I have your permission to continue hacking down such gorgons with impunity? Oh, yes, absolutely. Thanks for asking, Prince. Well, she didn't scutter off this time. Greetings, broker. God, what a what a tough ask. I guess I can get a nectar. I'll take Give that. The current special. Speaking of, it's... I bought this hey, for you. I uh, thought I'd better hand this over. I'll confiscate that if you really want. Although I'm warning you, I'm not susceptible to bribes. Many have tried. Hey, I'm just handing over contraband to the appropriate authorities. Think nothing of it, Meg. Just doing our jobs, right? Medusa short for Medusa. Yeah, it took me. It took me a uh, <laughs> an embarrassing amount of time before that clicked. I was like, "Oh, Medusa, got a hit." All right, I'm just gonna check out, see if anything's changed in here. Oh, 
Yay! Yeah, I got a lot of these to, to, to just tick off. There's a lot of them are almost done. Rush delivery, numbing sensation. Gotta keep an eye out for the. Uh... Oh, okay. Let's see. Still need more keys. Need to get them keys. Look what they did to your pink window, pal. The exit. That's a pact of punishment on it. Huh. So what exactly happened with the formerly pink window over there? Now it's got these sinister orange flames and an enormous pact of punishment hanging ominously over the exit. Father stopped by. A lot of them will take a whole run just to complete one because you need boons to unlock other boons. Yeah. Especially the duo ones, man. You can buy key keys for gems for fairly cheap. Oh, really? Shit, I need to, Pal, I need to I don't pay more attention to that, that then. Honest. I would just mind my own business when all of a sudden, wham! I get hit right in the back. I fall to pieces, no idea what's going on. When I finally come to, the window job was done. As likely an explanation as any, I guess. Yeah, let me go. Let me see if I can buy some more keys. Hey. hey. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'll take oh. that deal. Here's the gemstones. Alright. I don't know why I didn't pay more attention to that. But it made this what more potential do a lot I easier. Alright. We got. It. The next chamber. Oh, can you, like, so when you're staring at the door, you can re roll what's, what's on it? Randomly alter boon and well of Charon choices. One chance per rank at a time. Hmm. Ooh. Duo. If possible. I mean, that seems better. I can't. I'm glad at least that they are starting to give me some things to really dump. I think that should do it. Dump darkness into. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit more control. That plus the, uh. That plus the, um. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Ah. The items that let you dictate what boons you're going to get next. If you don't care too much about cosmetics for us, trading keys. Trading for keys is the only use for gems. I mean, but do you, re do you even need keys at a certain point? What do you use keys for after you've unlocked all the slots on the mirror? new i guess you can buy keys and then buy nectar and then buy diamonds geez uh gems are used for gameplay as well how uh, how so i don't think i've ever ever seen the gameplay aspects of them Get a nice gothic bed. Yeah, the shop does change, I think. Work orders have all the gameplay stuff. Just the work orders. It's a work order. Hmm. I don't think I... I think these might be, uh... Completing 30 contractor games easier for gem prophecy reward. Contractor thing. The pool lets you know your attempts. The pool. Left tab where you were. Uh, same menu as the cosmetic stuff? Oh! Over here. Oh! 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 Sorry, right. Yes, that's what that is. Yeah, I, uh... So, wait a minute. I mean, I, I only need diamonds to, to finish these. More unlocks that require gems over time. Oh, okay. So they will unlock other gem expenditure things. Alright. I mean, yeah, if, if gems just 
funnel into the the like path to distill into diamonds. Like I just need a path to get some goddamn diamonds. I understand why this game isn't available on Xbox or PS4. Did Nintendo give them a boatload of cash or something? Um, I mean, it could just be that they they focus their efforts on the platforms they sold best on. Um, it could be that simple. That uh, maybe the, maybe their previous games, Transistor and whatnot, um, sold really well on those platforms. So they're like, we can always launch on the other platforms later. Another thing might it might not even be um, it might not even be sales. It may be promotion. Maybe Supergiant talked to Xbox and PlayStation and said, hey, if we come to your platform, can you guarantee us some like carousel placement on the front of the store or something like that? Um, Nintendo seems much more motivated to grab that like indie mid-tier game because it's the kind of game that really blossoms on their surfaces. Looks like Father's changed the terms of our relationship. So who knows? Hold right bumper by the weapons. Uh, well, I will in a minute. As conditions, the condition that adds heat to your heat gauge, your heat gauge is full, you earn valuable bounties. You earn one bounty the first time you vanquish a boss of each underworld. Heart heat gauge is full. <laughs> when you successfully escape, you can earn more bounties if you turn up the heat. Hint, you earn bounties for each weapon. How much heat you need is per weapon as well. Things get too hot, try switching weapons. Huh, okay. If it's bounties I'm after, no need to turn the heat up this high. Okay. Got it. Okay. Ah, okay, so yeah, it shows you. That's great. Cool. Okay. Just go, pal. You can do it. What are you Oh, are you just do you just want to see the skelly advancement? Is that what you were hoping to uh twin fists of Malfon. All strength combined. Sure right bumper, not left stopped. bumper. Let's punch things up a bit. Pretty scary serpent platter there. What in blazes? Aegis. How are you supposed to know that that's there? Did they ever tell you that? Oh, you just have to hit it twice. It says reveal. Never mind. Okay. There's dialogue? Man, I must have messed that. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. You can actually upgrade their base stats. Care to join me out there? Jeez. Special damage range and speed? Fuck me. Wow. Oh. Huh. I'll have to... I'll have to mess around with that. Neato. I know you're out there, Mother. Well, that's plenty more to look into. <laughs> you can buy them and try them out for as long as you never leave the room, then quit and reload. Oh, and keep your blood, but if you leave it'll save. Ah. Uh, I'm not that, uh, that's good to know. Um, damn. That's really cool. Alright, well, I guess nine more, nine more runs <laughs> to get the true ending. Get those credits. Uh, I'm looking forward to experimenting with that stuff, but in the meantime, um, I don't know, I guess that doesn't really count as beating it, does it? But like, if you do it once and the game only gets easier from there, I guess if you don't mess with the bounty system, you probably you beat the game with 54 rooms. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, unless maybe it maybe sticks at the end, all of those rooms count, so maybe that's how you can tack on a ton of rooms to that. Um, I mean, technically, the more rooms, the better, right? The shorter path is the harder one. <sighs> okay, uh, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to eat an apple or something. And uh, I'll be back uh, checking out Genshin Impact. So we'll see what that is. If I were in India Studio, I'd want my games on every platform I can put them on with well, prohibitive expense unless somebody gave me an exclusive deal or something. Um, it costs money to be on platforms, Palmore. So if... Uh, this is an indie game, and I don't think it has a publisher. Here, let me let me see what's on the let me see what's on the title screen. So yeah, you have to. Yeah, it's self-published, so you have to like, you have to pay companies for them to certify your game, and it's very expensive. So they might they might be in a position of publishing on easier platforms or cheaper platforms, and then once they get that revenue coming in, then they can pursue certification on other platforms. So. 
I mean, yeah, I think in an ideal world, they'd launch on every possible platform. But uh, there is such a thing as, as spending the money to be somewhere and not recouping the money that you put into it. So this is what publishers do. You know, they handle all that stuff. That costs 50k to patch a game on Xbox. It might. I don't know if Switch Cert is cheaper. Um, that so that's that's the sort of thing where let me turn this down a little bit. That music is phenomenal, but uh, okay. So I I have never worked in publishing, but I've talked to to people who have, and it's it's a lot more complicated than you'd think. Um, you can't just you can't just like send a CD to Microsoft and then it publishes on on Xbox. Um, so, in addition, like, let's let's presume that Supergiant had discussions with all of those platform holders. Nintendo may have cut them a break. They maybe have said, hey, we're just going to waive your publishing fees if you publish on our platform first. Or, you know, there's all kinds of, of uh, like, it, it could have been promotional placement. Nintendo could have been like, we'll feature you in our, our directs. Like, there's all kinds of, all kinds of uh, goodies that get traded around. And... Uh, the people at Supergiant, you know, they take all these meetings, they, they go back, uh, and to some degree you can kind of pitch people's, you can send people's pitches to each other, and be like, hey, Microsoft said they're going to give us this, Nintendo, can you, can you increase your, your offer? That's, that's very low-level stuff, but the crazy thing to think is, all of that negotiating also takes time, and that's time you're not spending building the damn game, you're just trying to figure out how to get it out into the world, so... Even for an indie studio, sometimes sometimes you get a good deal and you take it. Because at least it's done and you know what's going to happen. And now you can just get back to making the game. And that's one like line item of cost you can cross off your ledger. So now you can afford to hire some contractors to help with QA. Like, it, it all, like, it's all cyclical. Um, yeah, from the consumer perspective, we all want to... Like, it, it's very easy to think like, well, why isn't it available on the platform I want? I want to give you money. Why are you not letting me give you money? But... Man, it is just, it's, it gets, running a business is messy. And uh, we, we often have the privilege of such a strong term, but we're allowed to ignore a lot of the business implications of, uh, of game development. Uh, which is why I find it fascinating. To me, that's the real mystery. That's what I like discovering. All those little, all those little issues <coughs> that I get to ignore. Hey, Steph. Hey. All right, break time. I'm going to have a snack and then come back with Genshin Impact. The, the most gotchas of animes. Gotcha doesn't really bother me, depending on the game. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's bad. Maybe it's horrible. We'll see. See you guys soon.